Hello folks, Scott Smith here with Aspen Avionics uh, coming to you from 10,000 feet just outside of Memphis uh, and got the new Max displays installed. So very excited to, to talk about this today. A uh, couple things that I noticed right out of the gate was the clarity and the brightness of the screens. So if you're an, an avid uh, Aspen user, uh, user that's had uh, had the displays in your aircraft for the last 10 years or so, you're going to notice the, the brightness, the sharpness, and the uh, clarity of the screen right out of the gate. Just how clean and sharp uh, the colors are. The, the, they're just deeper and uh, jump out at you. Uh, the other thing is how, uh, how you get uh, a couple extra pages. So one of which is the, is the uh, flight timer page. And it, it gives you a uh, flight timer for what, what time you departed, um, and also the uh, the flight time itself. You have three extra flight timers that you can go into and manually set for uh, whatever you would like, for like change of fuel tanks, or uh, if ATC says give me us a call in 10 minutes, that sort of thing. Other things we've added um, are METAR flags on the map page. So if I go in and I got these soft keys here and I can just turn on and off the METARs. If I turn on the METARs, now you see the flags pop up. As I zoom in and out, I get the METAR all over the country here and I can I can pan around and look at those uh, those different METARs. And it'll give us you know more information on that as I as I would get into that area. So the METAR flags are new. Um, also, uh, flight IDs. So we, we uh, turn on the flight ID and it stays on, and it's going to give us the flight ID for the different targets on the screen. And there's a FedEx uh, 5213 going to Memphis. So they're uh, always busy with the FedEx guys around Memphis. So that's that's pretty slick. Again, you'll notice how uh, how everything looks really sharp and clean compared to uh, compared to the screen that you're used to uh, flying behind for so many years. Uh, so we've made these upgrades and given you a lot of uh, a lot of functionality and a lot of uh, bang for your buck, if you will. Because if you're an Aspen user today, you can upgrade to the max, there's some target, and literally send in your unit and we will uh, we'll upgrade at the factory and include a new two-year warranty. American 385 contact. Pretty slick. So the, the other thing I really noticed right out of the gate was how vivid and clean the synthetic vision looks. And we can, uh, you know, have the distance line here, and I can run that distance line in and out. And it gives us a, a line for how many miles. So there's five miles. I can run it on out, you know, to ten miles. So I know how far away that river is. As far as I know... And, or how far away that target is if I ran away out there. So he's, he's quite a ways out. But anyway, so that's pretty slick. A couple different uh, layouts, field of view, and so forth there. November 08 Tango contact. Now, a new feature uh, called the, with the audio callouts where I get, uh, it's about five or six different callouts. One of which I've, I've uh, already heard is the uh, plan with this was the minimum, so we got approaching minimums. November We got approaching minimums, and then once you hit minimums, minimums. You get a minimums call out, and that's obviously through your headset. So that was a that was a big uh, upgrade. Very nice. The uh, uh, the other callouts include things like your altitude, traffic, overspeed, uh, timer, and again, those those are literally they call them out what they are through the headset. So it makes it really easy to identify what that is for, what that tone, or I mean, what that alert is for. November eight one Tango contact Little Rock approach one three. Couple other features we did behind the scenes. Now uh, we have uh, new technology called dual aiding ARs, which basically what that means if you have a a pitot tube blockage, a bug flies in your pitot tube. Uh, we just red X the airspeed and the rest of the unit keeps on working. So what that allows us to do now is if you put in a 2000 system with external battery or a 2500 system with external battery, you can remove all backups. So no backups required. We don't have to have any attitude 
airspeed, altimeter, all that stuff can go away. So you could literally put in two screens, cut a new panel, and you're done. So we're real excited about that offering. Uh, we also have uh, just streamlined uh, the internal components, uh, our board levels, and from over uh, uh, almost 30 layers down to an uh, eight-layer board system, so it makes it clean and run a lot cooler. You'll enjoy, uh, enjoy that as well. Uh, we've also added uh, some zoom levels, so instead of jumping from 200 to 500, we now have a 350-mile zoom level. And you'll notice that as you're you're coming in, it makes it just a, a smoother uh, for uh, zoom scale in and out. November eight nine eight Bravo Alpha. I'm announcing the following team flight level two zero zero. Flight level two zero zero Bravo. Again, my name is Scott Smith, uh, Aspen Avionics here. I appreciate your time today. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, please contact us directly or visit us on our website at www.aspenavionics.com. We look forward to uh, hearing from you. Take care.